I recently posted my video about making fun sub alerts. <laughs> And on Twitter, I got this comment, love this. Will you also be willing to do like a camera pulse with a camera filter that have the colors change when activating it through the stream deck via OBS scene? Kind of like a party mode when the beat drops while listening to music. And the answer is yes, so let's do it. Let's do this! Now there's obviously multiple ways of achieving this, so let's go through a couple. First thing I'm gonna do is go to filters with my camera selected, and I'm gonna add a user-defined shader that is from the shader filter plugin. You need to have it installed. Click OK, click load text from shader file or load shader from text file. No, load shader text from file. There you go. And click browse. And there are two shaders or effects that will actually play around with the colors. First one I wanna showcase is rainbow. Okay, so it's a rainbow, goes left to right. And you have a couple of options, notably the speed. It goes from minus 10 to 10. So close to the middle is going to be slow. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can apply it to the image and we can also replace the image color. All right little bright, we can play with the luminosity. Play with the saturation also if you want to. And you can make it, you know, really speed up to have that party effect. Now I'm gonna go back and rename this by right clicking on it, clicking rename. And I'm gonna call it party on. And you know, the question was how to activate it with a stream deck. You wanna go to your stream deck software. You wanna select the specific stream deck that you wanna use. And of course the profile you wanna use. You wanna make sure you have the OBS Studio plugin installed and you wanna just click and drag filter to one of your buttons, wait for it to detect OBS Studio, pick your source, in my case it's HDMI, pick your filter, in my case it's Party On, and now using my Stream Deck, I can Party On. All right, let's look at another shader. So I'm gonna go Browse, the other one is Hue Rotation, and this one does, well, what it sounds like. <laughs> it rotates the hue, meaning that if you have skin color, it's also gonna change it too. The only options you have here is the speed, so if you have a very colorful room like mine, it can make like a kind of weird psychedelic effect, which I kind of enjoy. And of course, same thing, you can activate it with the Stream Deck. Okay, now the tweet specifically mentioned the word pulse, and I think it would be cool for it to actually react to the music that's playing. So here's what I came up with. We're gonna create a color source, color source four. We're gonna select a vibrant color. I'm gonna click okay, so make it full screen. And with that color selected, I'm going to right click Go to blending mode and click add. Now to that color source, we're gonna add our hue rotation shader filter. Okay, so let's add that. You can make the speed pretty fast. Then I'm gonna right click, go to hide transition and we're gonna go to fade. Right click again, go back to it and make sure that the delay here is about 500 milliseconds. Okay, you can click away. And now basically when this color source shows and then you hide it, it's going to slowly fade away. This is the effect that I'm going for. I just want the visibility to be controlled by the audio. Maybe 500 is a little too much. Let's go 200. There you go. Now, if your music is going to play on a separate channel, you want to select that. Mine usually plays on desktop audio. So I'm gonna go on my mixer here, go to filters under desktop audio, and then I'm gonna add audio move. So this is from the move plugin by Exaldro. So you need to have that installed in order to have access to that. So audio move. Click OK. We're gonna select the scene. In my case, it's called scene. <laughs> We're gonna select the source, color source four. We're gonna select the action, which is source visibility. And then from there, we're gonna play some music to determine the threshold. We can stay copyright free by going to get level music. We're gonna select enable over and disable under. That will give us an idea of where we want the threshold to be. So basically we can see the decibels here. I put it around eight. So when it's peaking, it'll turn it on. But if the music is a little low, you can see that it's no longer showing. So you can see it's really going with the beat. All right, now all you have to do is activate that uh, hue shift. <laughs> maybe, maybe too fast. And since that color is on its own separate layer, you can add a color correction, for example, in order to um, play around with the opacity. So you can see it doesn't have to be super bright. And just like that, you have something that's not only reacting to the music, but also switching the colors. You can also make it 
so that the colors also react to the music but it can be very repetitive it can basically go to the same color every beat and you don't necessarily want that so now what you can do with your stream deck is basically activate the desktop audio filter which is the audio move and this time the source is desktop audio the filter is audio move and you can see it right there if i press on the stream deck turns off so the music is playing right now i press with the stream deck boom party mode is on and then i can turn it off just like that keeping in mind that since it's reacting to the music if the music stops it's not going to be visible anyway and there it is if you have any cool ideas like that leave them in the comment section below make sure you follow me on twitch and i'll see you all next time go out there make me proud get level out <laughs>